Hello, in this video I'd like to have a go at recreating a word game. Now some of you may have played this game, it's a game where you get a box, just a small box that's got 25 dice in there and 25 spaces for the dice to land. Now these dice are not like these ones here that's on show with numbers on but they're dice with letters on and each dice is a has different letters on so when you shake the box each dice lands in a separate place and on one of its six sides so what I want to do is recreate that game but using Excel so let's just remove these let's just highlight them all and start to recreate this game so over here is where I want the dice or the different letters to appear. So let's just number this. First of all, we've got one, and then we want that to be two, three, four, five going across. Let's just center that. And then down the side, we just want zero, and then five, 10, 15, 20 and 25. This is just to help us locate each of these squares in here. Okay, I'm just going to center all this in preparation. Okay, that's your setup. Create a five by five area where we can actually put some formulas in to read our various letters that's going in here. Now, just to set up, what I'd like to do, set up across the top here, the dice so we've got the first die here will have six sides so let's just show you what the letters are for this first one let's put it in here for you okay so we've got e i p c t and l so what would happen when you shake the box all the dice start moving around and then they land in different places in your box but on a different side. So this first one could land on E, I, P, C, T, or L. Okay, so that's the first stage. So let's put all the 25 in there. So I'm just going to paste this in. I've got this pre-prepared. Okay, so the second dice has got A on one side, G on the next, E, E, M, and U. So hopefully you can see that we've got 25 dice down here and each dice has got six sides. So what we want to do is first of all set up a way of randomizing the dice. So the best way to do this is use the rand. So I'm just gonna put a heading up here and we'll have the rand function. So equals rand, open and close bracket and send that down Okay, so these are different random numbers between zero and one, not including one. Okay, so they're all decimals. Then we need to rank these where they are in order. So let's put a rank column here. So now we need to rank these in order. And the way we do that is using a rank function. So it's equals rank. And the one you want is this one here, it's rank.eq. So first of all, we want to rank this first number. So you click that first number, then put a comma, and then tell it what you want to rank that against. Well, we want to rank it against all of these random numbers down here. Because we're copying this, make sure you press the F4 key to absolute reference that range. Then you put a comma, and it doesn't really matter what way, but we're going to have this ascending. So let's put a one there, close the bracket and enter. So you can see that this first number is actually ranked number one. But let's copy this down because that's changed. Now that is ranked number 18 in the list. The first one is dice number seven. You can see that that's ranked first. So what this does this changes the order 
of these dice for us, which we want to use over here to replicate each dice dropping into a different square each time. Okay, so that's stage one. So to start with, I just want to prove that a different dice number will be landing in these boxes every time we run this. So I'm going to just replicate this down here. So just highlight it, C and paste it down here. We'll delete this afterwards, but this is just to prove that the numbers are changing so you can see what's happening because it's all well and good just copying what I'm doing, but it's trying to get the understanding of what's going on here. So these numbers that I've put at the top here, if you imagine that they are to represent each box. So if I add one and zero, which makes one, then we want whatever is ranked as number one to go in there. And then two plus zero would be number two, three, four, five. And then down here, it would be one plus five because that's position six. In other words, each of these are numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way through to 25. But I'm just using these numbers added together to give me those 25. So we're going to use an index and match here. So let's just type equals index, open bracket. So the array of what we want is the actual dice number. So down here, dice number, and then we want to make sure we absolute that so that we can copy it. So let's press the F4. Now remember, I'm going to copy this going to the right. So I want B to stay there and I'm going to copy it down. So I want the two and 26. So we want to leave that as full absolute. Now put a comma. Now the row number will come from the match. So let's just type match. And remember, we want the first one to be one the next one to be two and so on. But I don't want to type that in 25 boxes. So I'm just going to use these numbers up the top here to get our numbers. So the first number we want is zero plus one. So if we click the zero, that's M1. Now again, I'm going to copy this down and across. So when I copy it, across I want that zero to stay there so let's press the F4 key twice and then a third time so that it stays on column M but the one will become two three four when I copy it down then we want to add to that this one here and again I'm going to press the F4 key so we need to absolute not column N this time, we want to absolute the one so that when we copy it down, it stays in that row because one is absoluted. But when we copy it across, it moves to O, P, Q and R. OK, so that gives us the number in the first box. It will be number one in the second box, number two and so on. So that's our lookup value. That's what we're looking for. Now we want to see where are we going to find it. Well, we're going to find it down in this rank. So let's highlight the rank and absolute that so that we can copy it across and down and then comma. And this is an exact match. So we want zero in there. Now we need to now close two brackets, one for the match and one for the index. Press enter. And what you'll see now is the number seven in my case in here. So let's go and have a look at dice number seven. Can you see dice number seven will be the dice that lands in that box? And that's because it's ranked number one. And if I drag this across, let's have a look what we've got here. So we've got dice number four in the second one along. So let's look at dice number four. Can you see that that's ranked number two? The positions are based on the ranking. So let's just drag these down. And there is all the different positions or the different dice in different positions. So just to show you these moving, we're going to put some conditional formatting on here. 
obviously you don't need to do this for the game this is just to show you what's happening so let's highlight these ranked numbers and then hold control down and highlight this set of numbers here and then come up to conditional formatting highlight cell rules and let's click equal to and we'll put number one and then click OK and then we put a second condition on highlight cell rules equal to 25 so they're the two extremes really we've let's um, click OK and then you'll see here's the one and 25 near the bottom here for dice number 22 and dice number 24 and here's your 1 and 25 so let's now press F9 and you'll see as a, every time I press F9 dice 1 and 25 change positions in the grid so in other words that's like taking your box with the 25 dice giving it a good shake and then the dice land in different places each time and then what we're going to work on now is the top bit up here to get these letters in here just like this so I've set this one up so you can see what's actually happening so if I again press F9 you'll see that the letters are changing every time so I'm going to show you how to get these letters in here now okay so let's fill this in for you so we type equals index what we want to return is one of these letters so you highlight all the dice sides over there and absolute that so that it always points to it when we copy it comma the column the row number sorry comes from the match function so we type match and we want to look up first of all one then two then three then four all the way through to 25 so we're using these numbers added together to get those numbers so m1 and i need to press f4 three times to absolute just column m then we want to add that to N1 and we just press F4 twice because we want to fix row one. Then that gives us our numbers, one to 25, comma, a lookup array where we're going to find that match is down in the rank, okay? And then absolute that, and then the match type is zero and close your bracket. So that gives us our row number. So imagine that we're looking for dice number one here. And if you come down here, we find one and see that that's number 14. So dice number 14 will fall into slot number one. But we want the column number. And the column number is basically what side of the dice is showing on each one so we just need a random number between one and six along here so let's use rand between and then the bottom number is one and the top number is six so we get a random number between one and six close that bracket close the bracket for the index press enter and we get an m the first random number is 20 so that's dice number 20 and it returned an m so that would have been side five or random number five so now let's just drag this down and drag it across and now when we every time we press f9 we get a different set of letters in our box so we can now delete this one so i'm just going to highlight this come up to clear and clear all so as we don't actually need that and we just want to have a look at this so let's just press f9 once more and play the game let's see what words we can find of four letters or more in this set 
Okay, so I can see a few here, but I'm sure you can see a lot more than me. So I've got pose P O S E and then pus P U S S. So you can't use a letter twice, but you can go diagonally, vertically, horizontally, left, right, up or down. Then we've got sins. So where's that? S I N S. Then pens. P E N S. Fine. F I N E. But you can also have fines. F I N E S. And then fins. F I N S. And then fees. So F E E S. And so on. And then at the end of your three minutes or five minutes, you then stop looking. And then anybody that's got words that others have got, you just cross them out. And then you count the words that you've got left. And the more you've got, the more points you get. So in the next video, I'll be using some VBA or macros so that we can actually get this game onto another page with maybe a timer. This gives you a good start. And in here, hopefully you've learned how to rank, use random numbers between one and six or the lowest to the highest that you want. Random numbers between zero and one, not including one then the index and match and we've done some absolute referencing of just columns or just rows good luck with that and if you liked it please give me the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because i will be doing a part two of this video so you don't want to miss out on that one